Russia's takeover of Crimea has created a lot of political waves and worry clear across Eastern Europe, especially for Ukraine's northwestern neighbor. That would be Poland. The country's ambassador to Canada has been voicing the anxiety people in his country are feeling. Marcin Bozatsky says Russian President Vladimir Putin's talk about, quote, correcting the mistakes of history has created a dangerous climate in Eastern Europe. The Polish ambassador joins me from Ottawa. Ambassador, welcome to the program. I'm so glad you've taken the time. What is it that concerns you Thank most, you for sir? Me. Uh, that, what is it that concerns you most about Russia's annexation of Crimea? Um, Putin's uh, land grab in Crimea uh, actually destroyed the security system in, in uh, our part of the world, in Eurasia. We need to uh, do everything we can. We, I mean the West, NATO alliance, European Union, partners across the Atlantic, so Canada and the US. We need to do everything possible to not let him destroy it even further. But he hasn't made any moves to eastern Ukraine or into Poland. In fact, Vladimir Putin has said he has, he's not going to go there. Which is good, but uh, after uh, so many broken uh, promises, I don't necessarily think that um, uh, his words secure anything anymore. But uh, of course, there is a huge discussion now within NATO, including Canada, including Poland, what to do, how to uh, strengthen the eastern flank of NATO. So. Uh, countries of uh, Central Europe, like Poland, like Baltic states, like Romania. There is a huge disparity of, uh, for example, um, American troops in, in Europe. Out of over 60,000 of them in Europe, only 136 are uh, west, uh, excuse me, east of Germany. Mm -hmm. this, is, this, is, this is something which needs to be uh, changed uh, because of uh, Russia's aggressive behavior. So, uh, would it be wrong of me to say you could use this Russian annexation of Crimea to get that added strength that you've been looking for in the past? Again, uh, for 20 years since the collapse of Soviet Union and uh, the toppling down of communism, first in Poland and then in other Central European countries, we sort of lived, particularly uh, opinion makers and some of the leaders in the West in the uh, mood that, uh, false mood that uh, history is over and uh, uh, European security and Europe as a whole is fixed. Mm -hmm. It is no longer the case and we need to uh, apply our efforts and our security structures to it. And there is a vigorous discussion in NATO now actually uh, there will be a meeting of foreign minister next week in Brussels and some conclusions of what NATO can do to uh, strengthen uh, eastern part of, of uh, NATO, so uh, countries mm -hmm. like Poland. Uh, some first decision will be taken uh, there in, in Brussels n next week. We're certainly watching that. Ambassador Bozatsky, you talk about the mood, uh, the false sort of uh, mood that, that Europe is fixed. What is the mood? in Poland now as you and your people of that country watch what is happening with your neighbor? We are of course uh, very much anxious what, what, what's going on in, 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 in Ukraine. Uh, first we uh, sympathized with, uh, with uh, three months long struggle of uh, people in Maidan mm -hmm. for democracy and for actually having a normal country. What happened in Central Europe, in countries like Poland, uh, we, since 1989, uh, when we toppled down communism, became, uh, not without uh, problems, normal Western democracies, and actually, in the case of Poland, uh, economically flourishing democracy. Mm -hmm. But Ukrainians were denied that because of their cor corrupted uh, leaders for over two decades already and this is a chance for them to do it and we on, on the West should assist them in this uh, enormous effort uh, not sabotage them as, as, as Russia is doing threatening 
the country first invading uh, Crimea and now mobilizing uh, tens of thousands of heavy armored troops across the borders uh, of, of uh, even as close as 50 kilometers north from Kiev. What if, and I know it's a hypothetical scenario, but what if NATO says no, we want those 62,000 troops that are the U.S. troops stationed in Europe to stay where they are. We don't want to move them into, uh, you know, uh, the uh, eastern uh, bloc, if you will. What then? There is, there is no eastern bloc anymore. But, well, you know uh, what I mean. Sure. Uh, I, I assure you there is very, very serious discussion. Everybody sees uh, the threats of today as we do, mm -hmm. that Crimea invasion actually changes the 20 years old paradigm of security in Europe. And we need to address it. And uh, uh, let me assure you that very uh, thoughtful and serious people on both sides of Atlantic are, are currently working on what we can do. We'll be watching. I want to thank you for your time, Ambassador. Thank you very much. It. Thank you. Poland's Ambassador to Canada, Marcin Bozatsky, in Ottawa. You're watching CBC News Network, your national weather forecast, coming up next.